Hey guys, it's Hero. We all know by now that every unit in your party can tend to one mount and one other animal each without your party receiving a herding penalty. The other animal can be another horse, a pack animal, or any one of the livestock animals. So if I have 20 Palantine guards who are not mounted, I can have two horses for each one of them. Say, 20 mules and 20 mounts. With the mounts, the party gets a speed bonus for footmen on horses, and the mules give us carrying capacity. But if I have 20 cons guard, they are riding one horse, so they can only tend to one other animal or horse. The same 20 and 20 as before, but now there's a herding penalty. I have to remove the mounts to remove the penalty. So you'll have less animals in your inventory before receiving that same herding penalty. But the calculation for the herding penalty doesn't look to see if your units are on a horse. It goes by their default group assignment. The default group, which is represented by this icon on the troop in the party screen or here in the encyclopedia view. In the case of the Palantine Guard, they are ranged. The ranged group is assumed to be on foot, so they can look after one horse and one other animal in the inventory. But the Khans Guard are in the Horse Archer default group, so they are assumed to be riding a horse and can only look after one other animal. This is fine for Vanilla Bannerlord. Tail Worlds took the time to set them up correctly. Most mods have this set up correctly too. But if you create a custom unit or alter existing units, this can be used to your advantage or disadvantage. If you modify the XML and change the cons guard to be a different default group, say ranged, then they will be allowed to tend to a horse and another animal in the inventory and completely ignore the one they're riding and not receiving the herding penalty. However, they will be treated as ranged units on the order of battle screen, as that also uses the default group value you just changed. Assuming you have mounts in your inventory for them, they will also be treated as footmen on horses for the campaign speed, because that calculation uses that same value as well. If you set a custom infantry unit to be in the cavalry default group, then you'll get a speed bonus for having cavalry. That speed bonus is better than the footmen on horses speed bonus that they would normally receive from horses in your inventory. But because those units are mounted, you will carry fewer extra animals in your inventory before receiving the herding penalty. And they also will be treated as cav on the order of battle screen. Maybe you use a lot of Fion champions, but you want more of a speed bonus on the campaign map. You could alter them to be in the cavalry or horse archer default group. This would improve your speed on the map by giving you the cavalry bonus instead of the footman on horses bonus. So there are advantages and disadvantages to manipulating the default group value. You could change it to give you traveling speed or change it to get more animals in your inventory while having mounted units. Don't forget to click the like button and click the subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace out.